Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Google's new AI called Gemini and comparing it with ChatGPT. Now by the end of this video you're going to understand everything you need to know about both of these AIs and you'll be able to work out which one is better. So let's start with an overview. Gemini AI is an upcoming project by Google. It's expected to be the most powerful AI ever built. This technology is set to rival OpenAI's GPT-4 and is anticipated to be a considerable leap forward in the domain of natural language processing. Gemini AI is designed to handle both text and images, enabling unique functions like written evaluations of visual graphs. Moreover, Google aims to enhance Gemini's code generation capacity. So in the near future, Gemini can be expected to exist or even power most of Google's products or services. On the other hand, ChatGPT is an AI model developed by OpenAI. It uses deep learning to generate human-like text based on prompts from users. This model is capable of understanding natural language input provided by the users and providing responses within the context that it has learned. It can interact in a conversational way, answer follow-up questions, admit its mistakes, challenge incorrect premises, and reject inappropriate requests. So how do they actually compare? What you're seeing on screen now is different benchmark tests that they put their AIs through to see how good they actually are. And as you can see, Gemini Ultra actually beats GBT4 in every single test, apart from this one, which is about common sense reasoning for everyday tasks. But it did beat GPT-2 in the other two tests in the reasoning capability. But in terms of general math and code, Gemini Ultra beats GPT-4V. So what are the actual differences between them? To start with the developer, Gemini AI is developed by Google, whereas ChatGPT is a product of OpenAI. Also, the training. Both models are trained using large amounts of data, but the specifics of their training processes may differ. Their capabilities will also be different. Both models are capable of understanding and generating human-like text. They can handle multiple types of data and tasks simultaneously. However, Gemini AI is expected to be a considerable leap forward in the domain of natural language processing. And finally, they have different applications. For instance, ChatGPT can explain games, providing tech support, suggest recipes, and even help with math. Whereas Gemini AI is expected to exist or even power most of Google's products and services. It's important to note that while both models are impressive in their own right, they each have their own strengths and areas of focus. The choice between the two would depend on the specific requirement of the task at hand. So what about the limitations of both of them? For Gemini, there could be lack of support in chat prompts. For Gemini, while it supports multi-modality, there is lack of support for this in chat prompts. Also, Gemini can create app prototypes, but it cannot generate the full code. And finally, it may produce overly simplistic descriptions that don't encompass the entire code snippet. And for ChatGPT, it can make mistakes, including, gram including grammatical, mathematical, factual, and reasoning errors. It sometimes has difficulty acknowledging that it doesn't know something and instead fabricates a plausible sounding answer. Also, like all language models, ChatGPT is at risk of inherent biases. And finally, ChatGPT lacks the human insight that is often necessary for nuanced understandings and responses. So which one is actually better? Determining which AI out of Gemini and ChatGPT is better depends largely on the specific use case and requirements. Both models have their own strengths and areas of focus. Gemini AI developed by Google is expected to be a considerable leap forward in the domain of natural language processing and is anticipated to power most of Google's products and services. On the other hand, ChatGPT developed by OpenAI is known for its ability to generate human-like text and has a wide range of applications from explaining games to providing tech support. However, both models also have their limitations. For instance, Gemini may produce overly simplistic descriptions and has high resource costs, while ChatGPT can sometimes provide incorrect or biased answers. In conclusion, both Gemini and ChatGPT are impressive AI models that continue to push the boundaries of what is possible in the field of artificial intelligence. The choice between the two would depend on the specific requirements of the task at hand. It's also important to remember that these models are continuously evolving and improving, so their capabilities and limitations may change over time. So this has been my comparison video between Gemini and ChatGBT. Hopefully, now that you've watched this video, you understand all the key differences between them, and you should be able to work out which one's better for what you want to use it for. Now, if you found this video helpful, please comment down below to say it helped you out, and like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.